advanced section of Core Solutions. So I'm going to go through a brief warm up once again, like we did in the other two sections, and then I'm going to show you the advanced workout here. Okay, let's start with a big deep breath in, legs apart, abs in nice and tight, and exhale. One more time, and exhale. Okay, let's put the hands on the thighs, do the low back stretch once again. Pull your abs in tight, round that back over, and hold. And drop it down, two, three, slowly up, four, three, two, and down, four, three, two. Now let's do that in twos. Take it up, two, down, two, up, and down a few more times. Up, nice and smooth, down, and up, and down. Once again, up. And down. Let's slow that down up for four. Four, three, two, back down. Four, three, two. And let's just press a little to the side here and release. And press and release. Press, release, press, other side. Press, release, press, release, press, release, press. Now side to side, side and center, side, center, side, center, side, and here. Let's hold it right over to the side and just reach across. And back down to the other side and just reach across. And back to center. Pull those abs in, round it up and release. And let's round it up the whole way back this time. Take those shoulders back. Two, three, and four. And just reach right up over. You want to lift from the rib cage and back. And reach and back. Reach, back, reach. And let's switch to the other side. Big reach up over and back. Reach and reach and reach. And let's just switch. Come over and hold. And other side, reach over. And back to center. Reach across and across, across. Just a little rotation. Four more. And three. And two. And one. Let's slow it down. Reach and back. Just rotate the spine and back. Two more. Rotate back. One more. Other side. And reach. Pull back. Reach and back. Reach back. Reach. Okay, let's take a big deep breath in. Lift right up over. Lift up from the rib cage. And bring that back down. One more time. Reach it up and lift. Bring it right down to the center, push out, and bring your hands down to your thighs, and let's round the back up one more time, and release, and round the whole way up, shoulders back, two, three, and a big deep breath in, up, and exhale. Okay, let's get started with the advanced section. Okay, we're going to use um, a couple weights in this particular section. This is a two-pound ankle weight and this is a two-pound hand weight. We're going to use this for the opposite leg and arm lifts when you're down on all fours. Um, and we're also going to use the hand weight when we do some of the abdominal work when we're up on the bench. Okay, just going to put your one ankle weight on here. And we're going to switch to the other side. You got to come down on your hands and knees once again as we did in the other two sections. Only in this section, we're going to use the ankle weight. Now remember, you want to have that arm out at an angle, so it's not quite underneath your shoulder. You want to have it a little bit out of the side. It's a little easier for balance. You want to keep the head and neck in line with the spine. We're just going to lift nice and slow. We're going to do 12 repetitions of these. Okay, ready? Here we go. It's lift and down and lift and down. Nice and slow and down. Lift and down. Eight more. Eight 
and six more. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Okay, let's just switch to the other side. If you back away at home, you can just leave them on both sides so you don't have to switch. Okay, once again, keep the head and neck in line with the spine. A nice easy lift. 12 repetitions. Ready? Here we go. Lift and down. Nice and slow and down. Remember, you don't want to be kicking. It's just a nice easy lift. Okay, six more. Lift and nice and easy. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Okay, you can go ahead and take your ankle weights off. And just put your hand weight to the side. We'll come back to that. Okay, you're going to come down, face down. We've done this before in the other section, but this is a little bit more advanced move. So I'm going to push that out of my way. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to keep your hips down on the uh, ground here. You're going to lift, as we did in section two, only you're going to hold here. You're going to come back around, back to the front, and slowly down. We're going to do eight of those. So here's number two. And slowly down. And lift, and back around, and slowly down. And once again, as always, you want to keep the head and the neck in line with the spine as much as you can. Slowly down, and lift, behind, back to front, slowly down. Four more, lift, and get back around, front. Slowly down, two more. Lift, back around, and slowly down. Okay, let's just do one more. I think that was eight, or was that nine, or was that seven? I'm not sure. And slowly down. Okay, right from here where we've done the modified cobra, we're going to go up to a full cobra here. Now, if you're not comfortable doing this, please modify as I showed you in section one and two. Okay, you're going to keep your hips down, hands come out in front, and press up and hold. Okay, and take that slowly down. Now remember, if you're not comfortable with this, I've already showed you two other levels that you can choose from to do this. Please modify where it's best for you. And slowly down, and lift, and slowly down, and lift. We're going to do four more of these, and then we're going to go up onto the bench and do a couple different variations of these. Slowly down, four more. down, and three, and slowly down, two more, lift, and down, Okay, we're going to do these same things that we just did on the bench. A little different variation. Come on down. And you notice the bench is on an incline. You don't have to have it on this steep of an incline. You can have it two and one if you like. Okay, but you would need to put this on an incline for the exercises we're going to be doing. Okay, I'm going to come face down onto the bench. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing, the cobra, that we did on the, uh, the floor here. We're going to do that up onto the bench, okay? So you just want to come up and hold. 
Exhale, slowly down. And lift. Now that's two. I'm going to count this time so I don't lose count. And down. And lift. That's three. And slowly down. Remember, if this isn't comfortable for you, you can do the modified cobra in this section. That will be just fine. Okay, and four more times. And lift. You think it would be easy to count one to eight? Not for me, though. I forget things. And slowly down. And back up. Two more. Slowly down. And lift. Slowly down, last one, and lift, and slowly down. Okay, where we've done the alternating opposite leg and arm lifts up on the bench like this, we're going to do them all on one side this time. That will make it a little bit more intense. We're going to do eight of those on each side. Remember, you want to keep your head down here, so you keep your head and your neck in line with your spine. You're going to lift opposite leg, opposite arm. We're going to do eight all on the same side. Nice, easy lift. And down. And lift. And down. Here's three. And down. Four. And down. Four more. Three more, and two, slowly down, and one more time. Okay, let's switch sides. Same thing, remember keep your head and neck in line with your spine, and lift, slowly down, and lift, and down. And four more. There's one. And down. Two. And just two more. And last time. And down. Okay. The ready for takeoff thing, as I call it. We're going to do that same thing here up on the bench. Just one lift. Bring your arms back around. Back to the front and slowly down. And lift. Back around. And slowly down. Lift. And down. Okay, just four more. There's one. down and two three and last one and down okay you just come right up to your hands and knees Pull your abs in tight, round the back over. I just want you to press back. I'm going to stretch that out a little bit before we go into the abdominal section. And release to where you're comfortable. And one more time. Let's just stretch that back and hold. And release. Okay, we're going to go into the abdominal section now, the advanced section. Okay, in this section, you're going to start with the abdominals. We're going to start in the other two. You're going to come down. Now, where we did the reverse curl like this, we're going to do a hip lift this time. Okay? You're going to cross your legs. And you're going to press the back flat. And as you do, you need to lift the legs up a little bit. Okay? We're only going to do eight of these. You can just put your hands out to the side. So what this looks like is press. You're pressing the back flat here. And release. Okay, natural curve of your spine comes back in. And press. And release. And 
the press. And release. Remember, you want to keep the back press flat. It's four more times. Press. And release. Three more. And release. Two more times. Press. And release. One more time. Press. And release. Okay, you're going to bring those legs up. Okay, now where we did the, uh, the heel taps here, we're going to do what's called a press and reach with the dead butt. We had one leg down. This we're going to have both legs up. Okay, now what you're going to do is put your hands in front of you like this. You're going to extend the leg and extend the arm while you're keeping the back press flat. Now, once your abdominals fatigue and your hip flexors start to take over, you're not going to be able to keep your back press flat depending on how far out this leg goes. So when your hip flexors, you can feel them starting to take over and you can't keep your back flat anymore, you need to bring that leg back in. Now for some it may be here, for others it may be the whole way out to here, but you need to recognize once your back starts to arch, you need to pull that leg back in. Okay? So put your hands right in front of you here. You're going to press that back flat against the uh, towel or the mat to wherever you are and slowly extend, keeping that back press flat. And you're going to slowly bring it back in and we're going to alternate. And slowly extend. And you want to keep that back press flat the whole time and bring it on back in. Okay? That's one set. We'll do eight. And slowly out. Remember, once your back starts to arch, you need to bring that leg back in. Slowly out. Keep the back press flat. Come on back in. There's two. And extend. And back in. Make sure you're breathing through this. This is a real easy one to hold your breath. Make sure you're breathing. Yell at your kids or something while you're doing this. That way you'll be breathing. Slowly out. And back in. Okay, that's three. Keep that back press flat. Keep breathing. Breathing is good. And back in. Okay, another set. Just four more. This is not an easy exercise, so if it's particularly hard when you first do it, it's not you, it is hard. And back in, but it gets easier the more you do it. And slowly extend, you want to keep that back press flat. Did I mention that, keep that back press flat? Slowly back in, and switch. All right, just two more. And slowly in. All right, one last set of each leg. Here we go. Slowly out. Keep that back press flat. You should be getting pretty tired right now. And last time. Slowly back in. All right, just put your hands right underneath your knees and rock up. Okay, you have a little towel handy. Okay, hey, we're going to do the sideline lateral curl. I'm going to show you the most difficult way to do this. Okay. You want to lay this right at your waist. Okay, you can extend the arm straight out. You're going to bend this leg underneath. You want to make sure those hips are stacked right on top of each other. You want to make sure the shoulders are stacked. You want to keep your head rested down. You don't want to be leaning like this. When you lift, okay, where we just use the arm straight out here, we're going to bend the elbow up a little bit here this time, okay? Once again, you don't want to lead with your neck. You want to lift with the body, okay? So just put your hand right here at your ear and just lift and slowly down. And lift and slowly down. We're just going to do eight of these. Lift, slowly down. There's four. Four more to go. Slowly down, and three. Now eventually, if you want to, you can bring both arms up, but it's very, very difficult. I just wanted to show you that a little bit there. 
It's very advanced and you'll need to work up to that. We'll do two more of those. <clears throat> you can take your pick which way you'd like to do these. Okay, and one more time. And lift. And down. Okay, I'm just going to switch sides. <clears throat> Once again, come all the way down, bend this leg underneath. You want those hips stacked right on top of each other. Don't roll forward or back. Shoulders are stacked. Okay, and just rest your hand on the outside of your ear here and lift. And slowly down and lift. You want to pretend there's a string pulling you together right in through here. You don't want to be bending your neck over to the side. Keep your neck and your spine in alignment. And down. And lift. I think I owe you three more or four more. I didn't do that counting thing again. And lift. And remember, you can try it with both hands here. And lift. Let's go two more. And lift. And down. Last time. Lift. And down. Okay. Come on up. We're going to welcome to the bench now. A little weight handy for this section. It's optional, but in this section, I'm going to show you these exercises with the weight. Okay. This is a reverse curl here. Remember, in all of these exercises, you want to remember you're going to be pressing that belly button down into the bench to keep your back flat. Okay? And just press your hand up over top here. You hang on to the top of the step. You're going to do the reverse curl at half time here. So you're going to press, press harder, lower, and release. I'm going to do eight more of those after this. I showed you this example, and it's a little hard to talk in this position, so I'm just going to go through the eight of these. Okay, ready? Here we go. Just a reminder, press harder, lower, release. Six more. Four more. Press. Three more. Press. Harder. Lower. Release. Two more. One more time. And release. Okay, I'm going to drop one leg down, bend the other leg in. You can grab that weight now. Just going to rest it right on your chest here. Now, you don't want this leg extended out the whole way, but you don't want it in so close that your back is already flat. Okay, so you want to extend it out so you still have to do that pelvic tilt, pressing the belly button down into the step, pretending you're pressing it through to keep that back flat. Okay, so we're just going to add spinal rotation in here. You're going to press, rotate, center, and release. And press, and rotate, center, release. Press, rotate, center, release. One more, and we're going to press and rotate together. Okay? So it's press and rotate, release. Press, release. One more. And release. And three. Release. One more time. And release. Okay, let's switch sides. Okay, the first four will review the tilt and turn and release. Okay, so it's press and rotate, center, release. Pelvic tilt and turn and center, release. Two more tilt, turn, center. Release, tilt, and turn, and center, all together. Press and turn, release. Press and turn, release. Six more. Four more. One more time. And release. OK, 
Okay, drop both those legs out. Okay, you're gonna keep the weight here and you're gonna reach around to your right ankle. We're gonna press and turn and reach all at the same time instead of breaking it up, okay? Ready, here we go. Press, two, three, center, and down. Press, you're adding a little spinal rotation in here. Remember to do that pelvic tilt, press and reach. Back to center and reach. Two, three, give me two more of those. Press, release, and press, release. Now singles, reach, reach. Make sure you're breathing once again. Give me four more and four and three, and two, and one. Okay, let's switch sides. Okay, reach, two, three, center, and reach. Remember you're doing that pelvic tilt every time, center, press, a little rotation here to get the obliques, center, and reach, back to center, you're tilting and rotating. One more time, and reach. And let's go for singles. So let's press and reach. We do that tilt and that slight rotation. Going down a little laterally and rotating slightly. Just give me four more. There's four. And three and two, and one. Okay, now we're just gonna do regular crunches, only we're gonna, we're gonna review the tilt and lift and lower, release the first four, then we're gonna curl up like a shrimp, and we're gonna do two sets of 10 of those. Okay, so it's press and lift and lower and down. Press, lift, lower, release. Press that back flat, lift, lower, release, and press, and lift, and lower all together. Now press, release, press, release, press, release, press, Release, and release, and press, release, two more, press, release, one more time, press, and release. Okay, last set of ten, I want you to clasp your hands in front, cross them, cradle your head and neck and your arms, and press. Okay, four more. Okay, just extend those legs straight out. Reach right up over, let's reach up as high as you can. And release, and those knees up. And just park yourself up. Okay, that concludes the advanced section. And uh, we're gonna do a nice uh, stretch and cool down. And please make sure you do that for flexibility after each of these three workouts.